Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Mobile Suit Gundam 00 Mobile Suit in Action GNW003 Gundam Throne Dre I know that's a mouthful, but that's okay Made by Bandai back in 2008 Let me show you the box real quick, so let me go ahead yeah, This is, uh, whoever that is Don't, look, don't know the anime Pilot Nina Trinity, there you go Nina Trinity, don't know who that is uh, Just showing your artwork Side of the box there. Hey, I don't know what that cross is. Don't worry, the figure don't have that cross. So we have this. It's in action style. Uh, very articulated figure. It's about 10 millimeters, about three and three quarter inches. So you can see the box right there. Uh, side of the box, that's okay. We're not here to see the box, right? We know that. So we're gonna go ahead and focus in. Big, huge, well, it's not a big, huge mech. It's about three and three quarter inches. I already told you about that. But my goodness, did they pack this thing to the gills with extras? Why? Uh, well, in addition to, you got a underslung. Um, we just pointed this out because you have two beam savers. Underslung cannon over here. You got a pistol that's dragging on the back. A backpack, and I'll show you more details. I don't know what the waist skirt is there for, but you get that too. My goodness, why do we have that? And he has humongous clown feet to boot. In addition to that, he's got two pairs of. And let me just go ahead and focus over here. Two extra pairs of hands. Closed grip, of course, and open grip. And not only that, you got the pistol grip on. I got the pistol grip on over there right now. So let me show you additional details. Very detailed. Let me go ahead and show you more detail on the face over here. Look at that beautiful burgundy red coloring. I like how it shines over here. Shiny eyes over here, little horns. The head is, does rotate on a... It is on a ball joint, so it rotates pretty good. Good burgundy and gray color in. Uh, I have the pistol grip hands over here, the huge beam saber, and of course, uh, I'm going to take that off. You can actually, and with his big clown feet because he needs it, uh, you can actually uh, break apart the beam saber and actually store it in the top over here. There's a little clip on here. They've got a few clips, like a mitt clip, so you can go ahead and put that in there. So if you want it to store, I'm not going to. There we go. So, yeah. And I guess for added effect, you can go ahead and connect that if you wanted to. That's all right. You can store them over there. As far as articulation, the shoulder does. Not only does it move on a ball joint or has a swivel over here, but also moves over here. Has bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist, of course, wrist articulation. You can pop up the fist, of course. Has a shield over here, so that's another extra I forgot to mention. The shield does pop out. There's little ports all over the place, like a Mectic ports, for instance. There we go. There, so there we go. It's a nice little shield. Put that to the side there. I love the red color in there. Burgundy, deep burgundy red there. Little crotch piece over here. The hip swivels out and forward. Double jointed knee and a humongous, humongous clown feet for support needs it because of the humongous backpack and it just swivels back and forth over here doesn't swivel side to side so a little bit of rotation okay let's see what else we got here oh yeah humongous backpack with the little Iron Man type clips there you go pops up just like that roger that oh yeah and the little waist PC waist skirt over here so all these additional Additional extras over here. Oh, and I forgot the underslung cannon. So really cool, really cool extras. Kind of ambitious, and I forgot. He also comes with a nice little pistol. And I'm going to show you right now. So that that way you got the little pistol grip. So about the only place I knew how to attach it. So let me go ahead and move that, all that out out the way, so you can see how it was without all the extra attachments. Not nearly as intimidating, kind of scrawny now. <laughs> But what can I say? Still, I'm going to give them a seven and a half out of ten because even size comparison time, there she, there she is, my favorite stripper of all time. So slightly bigger than Cosmos, about four inches tall. All right, that's all I got, and I catch you all next time. 